Well, Democrats are expected to name Tom Swazi, a familiar name, as their choice to run in a special election for George Santos's congressional seat. He met privately with Governor Hochul to clear the air following their bitter gubernatorial primary last year. Hochul announced the special election for New York's third congressional district will be February 13th. There will be no primary. Instead, party leaders pick the nominees. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands with more from Westbury. How you doing, brother? The Democratic Party this afternoon is nominating Tom Swazi to run for the third congressional seat in New York now vacated after the historic expulsion of disgraced ex-congressman George Santos. It's sad. It's bad for the country. People have such a low esteem for politics and politicians already. In an exclusive sit-down interview last month after announcing his plan to run Swazi, who held Santos' seat before stepping away to run for governor, says he wants to take back the Nassau County and Queens District in the special election. It's not going to be easy. I'm going to run on the things that I've accomplished for the people of my district in the past and the things that I want to do in the future to address the concerns that they have. Swazi previously held the congressional seat for six years. The party endorsement comes after the former Nassau County executive and Glen Cove mayor met privately Monday with once bitter rival, Governor Kathy Hochul, who defeated Swazi in last year's gubernatorial primary. I was looking for someone that I thought could win, but also that was an important conversation uh, to clear the air in one respect. So it was in his interest to make sure the conversation went well. Hochul says Swazi apologized for criticizing her family ethics during last year's campaign. The special election is a high stakes contest because Republicans hold a narrow eight seat margin in the U.S. House. Republicans are interviewing more than 25 candidates, mostly from Long Island, one or two from Queens. Nassau County GOP Chairman Joe Cairo, who has since apologized for the party endorsing George Santos, says he's thoroughly vetting all candidates. Very, very important. That's where we're going to do a, a very thorough job, not only where they're questions they ask very probing questions at the interview process by the committee but now we will engage or are engaging today private companies to do a thorough background check and joe cairo says the nassau gop plans to endorse their candidate early next week the deadline is december 15th 